Hey guys, what's up? This is Thor Odinson24, and right now we have a, another DC review coming at you. This one is from the Arkham City 2-pack, uh, one of the well-sought-after packs, I believe, but as of now, uh, I've seen it everywhere. Um, my Toys R Us has like seven of these right now. A couple months ago, they were extremely hard to find. Now they're kind of falling out at the seams. This is the 2-pack Arkham City Joker and Robin. Um, you know, I like this Robin, um, better than the, uh, different, different Robins that I, I've gotten, like the Young Justice Robin, I think is, is really bad, uh, his head's really big, all that other stuff, but you customizers will probably eat up this, this, uh, hood and cape, it's that you can't take his, you can't remove it on him, I, I mean, you can, but you wouldn't want to, because... I looked underneath, he doesn't have any hair. So unless Robin's bald, <clears throat> you, you know, you're going to want to keep that hood on. Um, so his head can go side to side, it, it can go 360, but uh, you wouldn't really want it to in the hood. Um, shoulders, 360 forward and out. He's got a uh, bicep cut which kind of looks funny because it's his actual arm. Uh, single jointed elbow and 360 at the wrist. No abs. Does have a waist movement. Can go that much only forward with the leg which is, that kind of sucks. Can't, can, can go back even less and that much out. Well this leg is uh, doing it to it. This one, I don't know what's the problem. Alright, well, let's see. Yeah, well, he can't go forward or back very well with this, but this one can go much further out. And he also has a thigh cut, single jointed knee, and the uh, forward and back action. With the uh, ankle there, it, you know, that's, uh, that's Mattel. Gotta love it. You love it or hate it. Either way. But I do love his paint scheme. It's a dark red. It's not that candy apple, you know, with the, the, and it's a darker yellow on the cape. You know, this is a more uh, masculine Robin, if you will, as in compared to the um, DCU. DCU Robin, you know. The DCU Robin kind of looks like a, a Peter Pan slash, you know, Aquaman fanboy, but it's it's a good figure. That's why I still have that one. This can't really do much with it. He didn't come with any weapons, no accessories, not. They just come two figures in the box, which I don't know. I mean, he's got the fist hand. You can do some stuff with it, and then the, you know, the half open palm hand. So, I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see how he does. And then we move on to the main event. The Joker. This is the reason why, I believe, why people are buying this two-pack. Is so they can have this Joker figure. Uh, I don't play video games, so I don't know how the game works. But uh, my buddy does. He told me uh, at the end there's a... He turns into what's what's known as the Titan Joker, and uh, what that is is that he injected himself with the Bane Venom, got really big, and then Batman beat him, punched him in the face with this explosive stuff, so that's why his face looks all bloody and battered. So then, whatever, I guess they cured him of the poison, and he went back down to normal size. So that's that. He's rocking the uh, traditional Joker suit, which is awesome. It's, um, I would like to see more patches, like there's just a, a different knot, um, pinstripe part on his knee there. I think if they were going to do that, they could have added one to the elbow or something, but, <clears throat> uh, whatever. You know, he's got the, uh, traditional green hair, green eyes. His coat is removable. I don't know why you would want to, but. I'm sure it, it'll come off if you really want it to. Um, you know, he's rocking the uh, 
shirt there, which is just an odd placement for shirt. So, you know, you'd think it would be his vest, except it didn't. It goes all the way up. It's like a vest shirt. You know, they added the. Um, they gave him a chain there for you know what we would perceive as a pocket watch or what have you. I don't know. The clothing is very very basic, but his skin. His hands and his face, they look very dirty and bloodied. So, you know, great, great paint on this guy. Um, unlike Robin, the Joker does have a uh, ab crunch, which is kind of dumb. But, uh, yeah, so moving on to articulation of the Joker. His head can go 360 degrees. Shoulder, 360, only that far out. Not that impressed. He does have a, um, a bicep cut there, single jointed elbow, and 360 at the wrist. He also has a uh, ab crunch, can move at the waist. Only, yeah, forward, the back action is great on him, but the forward is not so much because the bottom of his, of his vest is not flexible like this. It's sculpted to him. So, it was like that, and then it can come out pretty far, upper thigh cut there, single jointed knee, which only moves back so far, and his feet are stuck that way. They do not move. They're molded into his pants. So all in all, I give this two pack four out of five, strictly for... Um, sculpting. That's it. There's nothing special about these figures. You know, they're just, you know, they just look cool. That's really it. That's all they got. <laughs> Let's be fair. Um, so, yeah, with that, this is the Arkham City 2 pack Joker Robin review. And subscribe to my channel if you like. And until next time, as always, this is Thor Odinson24 signing out.